good morning boys today we are going to see about the central government you know that india is a democratic country and we have two forms of government in our country they are the central government and the state government so in this lesson we are going to see about the central government the central government consists of three organs namely the union executive the union legislature and the union judiciary the union executive consists of the president the vice president the prime minister the council of ministers and the attorney general in the union legislature we have the two houses of the parliament they are the rajya sabha and the lok sabha now next is the union judiciary which consists of the supreme court of india the chief justice of india and the other judges now we are going to see about the president of india do you know who is the president of india yes it is sri ramnath govind so the chief executive of the indian union is the president he is entitled as a first citizen of india the powers of the president are the executive powers what do you mean by executive powers so the president appoints the prime minister and the other council of ministers and allocates work to them on the advice of the prime minister next we have the legislative pass in this the bills passed by the parliament becomes law of acts only after the consent of the president the financial pass the annual budget of the central government is presented before the lok sabha by the union finance minister only with the permission of the president without his permission it doesn't become a law judicial pass the president has a power to grant pardon or to give punishment or to commute the sentence of any person convicted of an offence military pass the president is a supreme commander of the different force of the country diplomatic pass the president appoints indian diplomats to other countries and receives foreign diplomats posted to india emergency pass in case of any emergency the president has got every right to pass the law the vice president the vice president of india is sri m vengaiya naidu the functions of the vice president are he regulates the proceedings of the house he decides the order of the house he decides the admissibility of a resolution or questions he suspends or adjourns the house in case of a grave disorder he issues directions to various committees on matters relating to their functions and now we have the prime minister of india you all know who's the prime minister of india it's sri narendra modi the leader of the majority party in the lok sabha is appointed by the president as the prime minister the other members or the other ministers are appointed by the president only on the advice of the prime minister now let's see what are the duties and functions of the prime minister he decides the rank of his ministers and distributes work to them according to their various departments he decides the dates and agenda of the meeting of the cabinet 
he presides the prime minister is the leader of the country chief spoke spokesperson and the head of the cabinet he supervises the work of various ministers he acts as a link between the president and the council of ministers so my dear children so far we have seen about the central government we have seen the various organs of the central government we have seen about the president the vice president and the prime minister of india we will proceed with the remaining part of the lesson in our next class